For this video, we're going to be looking at the anterior drawer uh, test. There's two positions that we'll demonstrate. The first position is the patient in a hook line supine position in the foot in a neutral posture. Now, while the foot is in a neutral posture, I do find it to be a little bit more sensitive and uh, beneficial to have the foot actually in a mid-range open pack position. There's one of two ways that you can do this. One is you can have the individual with their foot on an adjustable headrest such that you could tilt the headrest down on a treatment table. Or the second modification is you can take a towel, roll it up, and have the individual lift just their heel, place it underneath the heel, and then that automatically puts them into a slightly plantar flex position, more mid-range for the foot and ankle. At this point, you're then going to provide a quick anterior to posterior force that's directed on the distal tibia. And what you're looking for is any laxity that may be present um, or even tibial rotation or excessive translation that could be occurring. And so what this would look like is such. We're gonna find the Taylor curl joint, come just proximal. We grasp the tibia. You can stabilize the foot and ankle if necessary. Be mindful of line of force. It's not straight horizontal because the tibia is slightly declined back, so we need to be perpendicular to the tibia. Stabilize here, take up the slack, and then it's a quick thrust or force, and you're looking for any excessive translation uh, or also symptom provocation. The second position is going to be with the individual's foot off the end of the table. And so we're going to extend them out of the way. We'll move our towel out of this position. In this position, we're going to now provide a quick posterior to anterior force through the calcaneus. And also uh, because of the close proximity to the talus as well with the foot kind of in a neutral position. We look for the same information, laxity, translation, and in this case, since we're providing it to the calcaneus, now foot rotation instead of rotation of the tibia. And so what this would look like is stabilizing uh, between your hand and the treatment table of the tibia. You're going to bring the foot into a neutral position. You can do that with your forearm. Stabilize. And then provide a quick force in that anterior direction going posterior to anterior. So two positions for the anterior drawer test. Have a go with a peer or colleague and let me know if there's any questions.